And we got to talk about Mac, 26 years old, dying of an overdose. We don't know exactly what he overdosed on yet, but we know it is a drug-related death. And I, I just feel a certain type of way about it because, not because like, Anybody who passes away of overdose, people like say it's a suicide. Just because you overdose doesn't mean you tried to overdose. Look at like people like Lil Pete, right? Who died. I think it was early this year, or early late last year. He died because he was taking drugs, but his shit was laced with something that caused him to overdose. It's not necessarily that these guys are taking fifty pills and they're just stuffing the fifty pills on their throat. Oh, I want to be numb. I want to overdose like that. We don't know yet. It could have been that situation, but I'm 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 telling you, I feel like it's gonna be something that's gonna come out like, oh, he died because he has some like some whatever the fuck Xanax laced with fentanyl or some shit like that that kills a lot. I think that's what killed Prince. His shit has some fentanyl type of shit. Or he was taking fentanyl or whatever. That drug is a motherfucker. Don't just be. I, and I don't want to be no sound like I'm preachy here, right? But I understand that people sometimes don't know how to how to control their depression or try to they don't know what they don't know what else to do. They, all they know is to do the drugs because the drugs on them the pain, the alcohol, the drug, the pain, and people don't want to be in pain. It's a natural uh, it's a natural human emotion or a natural human feeling not to want to feel pain constantly, not to want to be depressed all the time. And a lot of times, the only way people can do that is. To take drugs because a lot of people won't listen to you. A lot of people don't understand what you got going on. Like a lot of people don't understand Mac Miller's life. Like we can try to judge him and oh, he's like Wack One Hundred. If you don't know who Wack One Hundred, that's the games manager. He said like this fucking idiot dumbass. He deserved like don't ever tell no nigga he deserved it. That's some whack ass shit. You a forty five year old, forty whatever year old man, uh, still going hard with the gang shit and like you don't tell you telling this nigga he deserved it because he was taking drugs. You don't even know the whole situation. You don't know this man's situation. You don't know this man's family life. You don't know what this man was going through. So for a nigga to try to think that he has the right to say, oh, you're a dumbass. You're taking drugs. You deserve to die. No, you don't know why he was taking I understand. I, I get it completely. Drugs will kill you. Lean will kill you. All that shit will kill you. I understand that. Niggas smoke cigarettes every day. Niggas drink alcohol. Everybody that drink alcohol time, your liver is going to be fucked. It will kill you too. It's not just drugs. I don't know why people try to preach like, oh, it's only drugs. Cigarettes will kill you. It might not be some, oh, I overdose on cigarettes, but it's a slow death alcohol that liver your kidneys all that shit you will die from that too so just to try to go at him and say he's an idiot and he deserved it that's what he wanted all that dumb shit like that that's some whack ass shit and all these motherfuckers out here trying to blame ariana grande just because that was ex-girlfriend and oh she made him into the no come on bro if you really a mac miller fan you know this nigga been on the drugs he been on the drugs heavy for a long time you could just tell by looking at him you could tell he talk how he walk how he present himself at times you could tell mac miller been off the drugs this ain't no Ariana broke up with him, so he went into a deep spiral of depression and went and went to a, a dark, dark place. My Mac Miller has been in a dark place. You can tell by his music he's been in a dark place. My girl told me uh that was just crazy that that one of his lyrics was like, I uh, I don't want to be like John Lennon and Jimmy, I think it was Jimi Hendrix and uh, Amy Winehouse, because that's the 27 Club. He said, please don't let me be part of the 27 Club. And he died at 26. Like, that's just, the, the way the world works, the way the universe works, it's a crazy fucking thing. And he just tweeted last night, can't wait to start tours. So I'm not, this this don't seem like a guy to me that was like, I'm trying to kick his, like I said, when people overdose, they always assume it's like some suicidal shit. Like, I wanted to kill myself. He was just probably in pain. He taking the drugs, a dealer, he like, hey, bro, you know anybody who got the Xanax or whatever pills people take? And the nigga gave him a pill and he died. Because everybody don't die off an overdose. Ari I'm not Ariana Grande. What's her name? What's the other white girl? Demi Lovato just had an overdose. She didn't die. But she got bad drugs. She got bad shit. She, I'm not saying she was in there popping 60 pills trying to overdose. And that's how she overdosed. That's, what people, that's the perception. Of, when you hear the word overdose, you assume that they took 50 pills. Not that they took one pill that had a really some real bad shit in it, which fucked them up. They don't look at it like that. They always think, oh, this nigga got the whole pill bottle. He starts shit like the movies when they start pouring the shit in their mouth and going crazy like that. We'll see when the report comes out. I, I, I'm going to just I'm gonna assume that it's some, uh, not I don't know. I'm going to assume it's some bad drug, fentanyl type of shit that got him fucked up like that. So... Recipes of Mac, man. Great albums, great bodies of work. I've been fucking with Mac. I, I was fucking with him a little bit before, but I really got on Mac Miller like a 2013. I'm not going to lie. Like all that, the kids and the uh, Blue Slide Park, like I listened to those after, but like I really got into his music whenever he was willing and he was ready to go toe to toe with Kanye and J. Cole back in 2013. Whenever Yeezus and Force Hills Drives was dropping on that day, Mac Miller was like, I'm not pushing my release date back. I'm not. 
I'm not I'm not worried about I'm not scared. We all gonna drop on the same time and whoever got the best music win. And Mac Mu- Mac Miller's watching movies to the sound off held his own in that whole little shit. So that's when I really became a fan of Mac Miller. Me and my friends like that's one of the artists me and my friends always talk like who are your favorite artists? Mac Miller's always been in that conversation, top 10, top 15 of our favorite artists that we listen to. Every time we got a project, we're like, hey, bro, y'all heard that new Mac Miller? That heard this? this ain't no, I want likes and retweets. Like, there's so many motherfuckers that's just talking about, oh, my God, he was the great. I ain't never seen niggas. I, and, and that's all. Like, you don't got to see people talk about their, their music likes. A lot of people don't say what music they like. A lot of people probably like Mac Miller. But it just seems like overly, like, he has so many fans. Now, I know that people don't like Oh, you want to do that? It doesn't matter. We're just, you, it's different from showing your respect, just putting RIP, and doing shit for likes. Like going overboard. When you go overboard for likes, you go overboard for like attention when a guy dies. We can see it. You can see the disingenuous shit. And you can see the genuine shit. Like when niggas just say, Recipes Mac Miller, damn, great music. But when you typing up long stories about bullshit, and like, granted, there are people that mute Mac Miller's life. Have ch- uh, Meg Miller has changed their life. I understand the hard. There are hard events, but I'm more talking about people I know personally in real life that I see going on Instagram talk. And you ain't never seen n- no inklings of that's the type of shit that they listen to. But you know, people just want to be cool. Uh, praising a nigga after they die is a cool thing to do. Using him for his death is a cool thing to do. And also another thing I did not like when I seen don't all these not all these but these these major white publications that put. Because their audience is no Ariana Grande, so Ariana Grande's ex boyfriend Mac Miller. Di- no, Mac Miller was here before Ariana. He was already a star established before Ariana was getting off motherfucking Nickelodeon. So don't even try to just because she's a bigger artist now. Don't try to hit Mac Miller with no damn Ariana Grande's ex boyfriend bullshit. Because when y'all do that, then y'all are putting Ariana in it automatically for anybody to say, oh yeah, that's why he died because she broke up with him. We all throw her name in the mix. Don't do that. That's so disrespectful. Me, this man built. He has albums and mixtapes of great shit. And the thing about Mac Miller, I like, he never compromises shit. I've never seen Mac Miller try to keep up with the wave of what's going on now. He's only ever did his own shit. I've never seen him try to. Oh, I'm gonna do the trap shit now. I'm gonna try to make the club bangers. He's always just made good music. Like his music is aesthetically pleasing to the ears. The swimming album is aesthetically pleasing. When I did the podcast with my friends, we talked about swimming, Astroworld, YG shit. I believe I said swimming pool was the better of the three. I don't get the hype between Astroworld. Swimming musically is no overly auto tune shit like Astroworld. It's just a good album. Some great shit to listen to. So Mac Miller, he left us with some great music for us to enjoy. For just 26 is just so fucking young when you just because I'm 24 and I'm just like, bro, two years, I'll be 26. And it's not just drugs, people. And I want to talk about that too. People like when people are depressed, it's not just drugs. I don't think I'm depressed, but fuck, I'll be eating the fuck out of food. I think that's my thing. People's thing is my thing is food. Mac Miller shit was drugs. Some people shit is alcohol. Some people shit is sex like some people feel so depressed all they can do is have sex with people because they think they're gonna feel some type of void in them some people's a sex some people cut this up some people go run it's like uh, there's healthy ways to cope and then there's not it's not just oh he's a drug addict so he's a uh he's lesser than this person because he was addicted to drugs with his depression his depression was drug driven like from everything i've seen from mac miller he'd seem like i don't know of course i don't know him personally but from like seeing his interactions with people, seeing him on his TV show, seeing him do interviews. He just seemed like a good, genuine, and you could tell he was a good, genuine person by the amount of people in the industry that came out. Like people you wouldn't even expect him to come out and say something like Miller. It was a lot of people that had good vibes and good words. Said nothing had no, you never heard nothing bad about Meg Miller. You heard, all you heard was Ariana Grande say something about, you know, their relationship was toxic, but that was probably because of the drug abuse. And people tried to turn it in, oh, he was probably beating her and da da da. No, just the drug abuse. So stop throwing Ariana's name in and stop trying to say she was the reason they killed us up. Because if you knew Meg Miller, if you're really a fan of Meg Miller, you know he's been fighting this drug shit for a long ass time. If you've seen the video of him in the studio of French Montana with all that lean and French, like, nah, brother, don't do that. That should have had you fucked up. You won't be you'll be missing show. Don't do that. Don't do that lean. It's been a drug thing with Meg Miller. It shit didn't just start after him and Ariana broke broke up and he had the DUI after him and uh her and Pete Davidson. That ain't it. So salute Mac Miller, great career, 26 years old, shit, man, that's, that is young. I'm on my way to be 26, 
So just looking at that number, just is like, bro, two years from now, that could be me. Not saying I overdose on, but just any kind of death. That could be tomorrow. Now it's just a crazy thing to see because a lot of X died this year. Fredo Santana died this year from drug-related, like, comp- not he didn't overdose, but, like, you know, his kidney failure, the lean and all this shit, that's what they're attributing that to. Lil Peep died from a drug overdose. Who else died? Avinci, the, the the DJ, he killed himself. I don't even know what that story. I, mean, I don't remember how that story played out because I'm not really in that EDM world, but I knew who Avinci was. He died this year. It's like a Jimmy Wapo, another Pittsburgh guy, died the same day X died. It's just crazy the... I'm not gonna bring Aretha into it because Aretha was 76, so it's still tr- it's still sad that she died. But like Aretha was 70 at that. Like when the older person dies, I don't feel as bad because they got to live their life. But when you see these 20, 21, 24, 26, 27 year olds dying, they even hit 30 yet dying at young age. They have nothing but potential and they life ahead of them. That should have really hit you hard, and that should have you really like, damn, that's fucked up. Because you think about it, man, Tupac and B died when they was like 25, 26. We don't think about that shit. They they seem like they was older and they was on some like more mature they was on some more mature shit but they seem like they was older but them them dudes was only twenty five or twenty six when they died scratching the surface of their superstardom scratching the surface of the and then dying at an early age like that that's just crazy but that's all I got for you guys today man hope you enjoyed that episode Cardi B Nikki that 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 whatever that's that uh, the podcast beef and this is Mac Miller shit man that, I seen but I was literally. No, boy, this ain't a joke, but I was really like taking the shit, right? Looking at my phone, and boom, that notification just popped up. TMZ, Mac Miller dead at 20. I had to reread. I'm like, nah, not that Mac Miller. There's got to be another Mac Miller. Not this one. Open that shit. I see Max, bitch. I'm like, damn, bro. That shit is fuck. Because, like, you don't expect, you'll never expect artists that you fuck with just to die. Like, that, that's what happened when I seen the X shit. I was like, Phew. Cause I was just talking. Oh my god, that that question album. I was like, this is one of the best albums this year. He did his motherfucking thing, and then a couple months later, poof, notification, X Six Station shot dead. I'm like, what the fuck is going on? I know people die every day. I know people die all the time. But it's just what's the artist you you know and you actually fuck with? It's a crazy thing. Like, cause it's like that's a, I don't know. It's just a crazy thing, bro. That, that's really all I can say about it. Like, if a notification ever dropped popped up on my screen, Lil Wayne. Died like everybody's gonna be like, oh, he deserved it. He was on that. He was on that lean heavy. Nobody deserves it. That's just how they cope. That's just their mechanism. I know there's probably healthier ways to cope. We can figure out healthier ways for you to cope. But I'm not gonna say anybody deserves anything because of the things they choose to do. Yeah, it might accelerate it. Yeah, that's I understand all that. But I'm never gonna say they deserve that. Oh, it's their fault. They deserved it. Trying to sound all snarky and like a bitch. I ain't gonna do no shit like that. Because that's just fucking dumb. It's insensitive and it's idiotic, bro. Because this man had a mother, a father who just lost a son at 26. The brother, like, you met all these people on the show. Seem like all great people. Mother, brother, father, just lost their son. And you don't know how that shit's affecting them. For you to try to uh, talk shit about that is fucking ridiculous. So that's all I got for that. Hope you guys enjoyed today's episode, man. I will be back whenever I got more shit to talk about. You know, I'm not going to try to force it. I ain't going to try to do every single day unless I feel like doing every single day because I don't want to force bad kind of just talk about bullshit that don't matter. Like, I'm not going to talk. What's I'll talk about? There's so much bullshit niggas just be talking about on YouTube just to be talking about some bullshit. Like, shit that don't matter. Nobody gives a fuck about some of the shit y'all be talking about. There's kids that care about that dumb shit, but like, in the grand scheme of things, that shit don't even matter. But that's all I got. It's your boy D Friend. I will see you guys next time. Make sure you subscribe on all platforms that I am on, SoundCloud, iTunes, and YouTube for great content. I'll see you guys next time. It's your boy, friend. Peace.